beneath the red planet of Doom, beneath the black mountain of Vilthid, a servant of evil stirs. Zordrak, Lord of Nightmares. So, Captain Krieg, first you failed to complete my whirly bed on time, and then you questioned my plan to capture the Dreamstone. Oh, sorry, sir. I'm very sorry, sir. I'm very sorry, sir. You taught a lesson in obedience. That beat of no return. This will end your problems. And mine. There, my pretties. Another tasty Erpney. Now then, Sergeant Blob. Yes, sir. You are now in charge of Operation Dreamstone. There will be no delays, no excuses. Is that clear? Yes, Soon now, my Argorables, you will deliver my nightmares to everyone. Because I will have the Dreamstone. <laughs> Far from the mountains of Vilthid, through the mist of Limbo, beyond the forest of the Watts, is the land of dreams. There, above the valley of the Noops, lives the old dream maker. Legend tells us that he was old when the moon and stars were young. Every night from his castle, he sends pleasant dreams to a sleeping world through the magical power of the Dreamstone. The Noops are a friendly, industrious people who work hard all day. At night, they sleep peacefully and enjoy the wonderful dreams brought to them by the Dream Maker. Especially this Noop. I always dream myself to somewhere else each night. I dream in color, cause I live in black and white. I know I This noob called Rufus not only enjoys the Dream Maker's dreams at night, but his own dreams during the day. Morning, Rufus. Dreaming late again? Yes, thanks, Mr. Green. Oh, trouble with that one is he doesn't know when to stop dreaming. Dreams all day, too. Rufus had not been a success as a grocer's boy. Well, Rufus, off to your new job. Yes, thanks, Mr. Muffin or as a baker's apprentice. Nice enough, young noob, but always daydreaming. I had to let him go. And now Mr. Wax has apprenticed Rufus to become a candle maker. He's late for work again. Morning. You're, You're late, late, Rufus. Rufus. Right? You're always late. Very late. Very late. Rufus, do you know what time it is? Ah, it is fair, Ambly. Good morning to you. Morning to you indeed. Mr. Wax will be furious. Rufus. 
cut those candles from the rack? Yes, sir. Oh, Violet, methinks thou hast met thy match. Scurvy knave. Oh, hey, taste my trusty steel. <laughs> Prepare to meet thy maker. Oh. Rufus! Sorry. <laughs> you, you, you nincompoop. You've ruined your last candle in this shop. You're a daydreamer. You're a time waster. And you're fired. Oof, 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 oof. Three jobs in three weeks. Honestly, Rufus, what are you going to do? Oh, I don't know. I've got about as much chance of getting a job as becoming the dream maker. That's it. The dream maker. If you're going to be apprentice to anyone, perhaps it should be the dream maker. Oh, it'd never take me on. Why not? Dreaming is the perfect qualification. But mine are just daydreams. Well, it was only a suggestion. All right. I'll give it a try. Bye. Let me know how you get on. Albert, Albert, not so boisterous. Why don't we see what our visitor wants? Oh, he's not really ferocious. He's Albert, my watchdog. But, but he's a fish. I mean, indubitably, a dogfish. No, then. What can I do for you? I am. Uh, I. My name's Rufus, and someone suggested I should ask if you need an apprentice. Someone, eh? Young Amberley, possibly? Why, yes, sir. How did you know? She's your best friend, isn't she? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> and that's why she believes you'd make a good assistant, correct? Oh, well, maybe, sir. But mainly it's because I daydream so much. Ah, there's nothing wrong with dreaming. After all, dreams are inspirational, are they not? Oh, yes. I know how much dreams mean to everyone. Good. Good. Uh, and I really would like to help you make dreams, if I could. Oh, I'm sure you could, with a little instruction. Oh, thank you, sir. Come along in. An elementary acquaintance with my operation would be profitable, I think. He's floating. <laughs> Do you float all the time? What? Oh, uh, yeah, I suppose I do. Yes, less tiring for the feet. I'm glad you know the value of dreams, Rufus. From here, I make all the dreams the world enjoys. Here in my laboratory. Oh. This, as you observe, is the hub of my operation. My books. My Somnion Manualis. My Thomas Incantatus, and the occasional modest collection of my own original dream recipes. Aha! One of my more successful concoctions. Uh, perhaps you'd like to see a dream actually produced. Oh, yes, please. My primary requirement is laughter. I keep it here. I think that's the right amount. <laughs> My sunshine is here. These are beautiful. Oh, dear. This is leaking. You'll have to attend to that. <laughs> it's quite all right. You may hold it. It doesn't burst. Well, of course not. It's not a soap bubble. It's a dream. Or part of one. The next ingredient is... Music. Yes. Just a measure or two. Now, let's see. What else? Ah, yes. A dash of birdsong. Oh, <laughs> oh, 
all these ingredients and thoroughly mix them together. Albert, container, if you please. Thank you. There we are. Quite simple. One dream. I can't see anything in there. Well, of course not. You're awake. <laughs> Nevertheless, this will be a very pleasant dream for someone. So I'll put it here with all the others that are ready to go. Can you keep a secret, Rupert? A closely guarded secret? Oh, yes, sir. Then I'll show you how the dreams are sent. Oh, thank you, sir. Your patience, Albert. Rufus will see soon enough. Oh. Come along. Follow me. Ah. You must understand it is of the utmost importance that you reveal nothing of what I'm about to show you. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Security must be our motto. You can rely on me. The, the, the key. The key. Where did I put that key? Oh, look there. Albert's found it. Ah, yeah, I, I knew I put it in a safe place. There. It is from within this room that I send out dreams every night. And the power to do so lies safely hidden behind this panel. And here is the most powerful and important object in the land. The dream stone. Each night, I pour the contents of the dream bottles through the dream stone, and its mighty force transports the dreams to sleepers everywhere. And you want me to help you do that? Oh, no. The dream stone has formidable power, and only I may use it. The consequences of any mishap befalling it are unimaginable. Without the dream stone, good dreams could not exist. Remember, Rufus, you must tell no one what you have just seen. You'll find, Rufus, that there is great satisfaction in bringing happy dreams to others. Sometimes I have really bad dreams or nightmares. Why is that? Oh, that's the other important thing the Dreamstone does. It shields us from nightmares. But occasionally one does sneak through. They come from the realm of Zordrak, the Lord of Nightmares. Who? Zordrak, my powerful enemy for many ages. You see, Rufus, a long way from here, on the other side of the great cloud of the Mist of Limbo, is the land of nightmares. There, inside the black mountain of Vilthid, protected by his army of Erpnes, is the Lord of Nightmares, Zordrak. Sergeant Blob! Yes, sir. Are your men ready to leave? Yes, sir. Well prepared and ready, sir. Uh, standing by for orders, sir. Remember, Blob, any errors, expect no mercy. You will all be turned to stone. No errors, sir. Definitely no errors. This time, I will have the Dreamstone. The end of nice dreams. There will only be nightmares. With the Dreamstone safe in my possession, there will be pleasant dreams for everyone. Oh, I hope you'll enjoy working here, Rufus. And I shall certainly be glad to have someone to help me. Whatever you want me to do, sir, I'm ready to start. Oh, this is very exciting. Very good. Now, for your duties. Firstly, there's a small matter of some empty dream bottles. They must all be washed before I can use them again. I bet the dream maker didn't start this way. <laughs> Pay attention, men! You're probably wondering why I've called you here into the very, uh, bowels of Vilthid. 
Not really. No, we're not. I have called you here so that I might brief you on Operation Dreamstone. You all know what this is? It's a hamburger. It's a football. It's your Does it rhyme with nose? No. It's the world as we know it. This here is the land of nightmares, what we are standing on at this moment in time. This here is the so-called land of dreams, for what we are heading. And this fluffy bit here is what is known as your impenetrable mist of limbo. Any questions so far? What Operation Dreamstone mean, Sarge? Operation? Hope it's not like mine was. You're never the same again, you know, never the I same. I had my tonsils done. Huge, they was. Huge, like fish. When's the doctor show a mouth? Red for weeks, I was. Too weak to lift a cup. If we get through the impenetrable mist alive, danger will lurk everywhere. Death will be our constant companion. There will be no turning back. So, if anybody wants to leave, do it now. <laughs> I want two volunteers. You frizz and you nug. Oh, oh Sarge. You're not nervous, are you, lads? Terrified. That's what will happen to you should you fail. This mission is a piece of cake. Cake? Did we get a meal first, Sarge? You'll be served lunch and a complimentary beverage in flight. In flight? I'm afraid to fly. I can't fly. My arms get too tired. Zordrak demands it. What, what time, time do we take, take off, Sarge? Zordrak awaits us. Walk this way. This is the elite squad that is going to bring back the dream stone. I've handpicked the best and the brightest, Sarge. Mm. And do they understand what will happen if they fail? Sarge! They will be turned into stone. And then? Their pitiful carcasses will be crushed into gravel, sir. And then? Say no more, sir. We will not fail, sir. See that you don't. Behold, men. Here is our secret weapon. The whirly pen. Our new all-weather attack vehicle. At last, we can fly through the mist of limbo to the land of dreams. Oh, sturdy craft, sir. What makes it go? Funny you should ask, Nuck. Welcome aboard the land of nightmares, whirly pen. Prepare for takeoff, which in your case means a little light peddling. Right, hands out, lads. Are we going to a party, Sarge? Those is not party at you idiots. Those is airsick bags. I didn't know you was a pilot, Sarge. There's a lot of things you don't know about me, lad. This is precision engineering, men. We're right at the hub of the white heat of technology. This finely tuned mechanism responds to a touch. Faster, lads. More airspeed. Lift off. We have lift all. We are aloft, lads. We are definitely aloft. We're flying. We're flying. I want to go home. I don't want to die. Oh, now I'm fighting. You'll find the Pull yourself together there, men. We may be experiencing slight turbulence, so fasten your seatbelts. We are now approaching the mist of limbo. Those of you on the right side of the wave head can see the deadly purple gaseous vapors, while you on the left can view the dark, sinister, undulating fumes which seem to form a death zone. You've noticed I turned on the angle to your seat like never before, sir. <laughs> Couldn't we go home now, Sarge? Nucky is going to pieces. Go home! Go home! What are you thinking of, Fizz? Bit of danger will do you the world of good. Make an earthly of you. You'll look back on this Sunday and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I said Sunday, not now. Keep the power up, men. Faster! Faster! Get those little legs going. Well, Albert, I think a little relaxation may be in order before we send out tonight's dreams. Oh, thank you. Our new assistant seems capable and willing. Much obliged, Albert. Emily. Hello, Rufus.
Christmas. I've got the dream maker's candles. Oh, well, come in. But you're busy. Oh, no, no, I was just... Uh... But I'm keeping you from washing up. Washing up? Oh, I'm not washing up. I'm, um... What I'm doing is primary dream bottle conditioning. Oh, it's very important. Really? Oh, yes. Well, this is what we store our dreams in. Our dreams? Right. We're a team. The dream maker's very busy, you see, so he leaves a lot of the big stuff to me. He does. Such as? Making dreams. Oh, Rufus, really? Honestly, look over here. There's our vat of sunshine. Hold your hands out. <gasps> it's lovely, just lovely. Oh, listen to this. And this. And this. <laughs> Rufus, how does the dream maker send the dreams? Only two people in the whole world know how to do that. And I suppose you're one of them. What's this? Ooh, ooh, ooh. But, but where does it go? To the Dreamstone. Come on. I thought the Dreamstone was just a legend. Do you have permission from the Dream Maker to go up here? Permission? Oh, I don't need permission. I come up here all the time. I'm his right hand. Nope. Good maneuver, man. We're nearly there. With my heat. Hooray! Attention, attention! Well, men, you're probably wondering how I manage such perfect control in what is, as we all know, an untried experimental... Charge. Don't interrupt, Frizz. The charge. We're upside down. Companies order commandos front and center for reading of plan of attack. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop Stop it! We storm the castle and go straight to the cellar where we steal the dreamstone. Dodge. It's upside down. Right. We go straight to the tower where we steal the dreamstone. Volunteers Frizz and Nug proceed immediately towards objective to wit them bushes, indicating your arrival by blowing a whistle. Those were apnies. Those were apnies? 
Oh no! They came from all over the place and smashed through the windows of the tower. And we then... And then there were dozens of them. With the Dreamstone go all pleasant dreams and our only defense against Zordrak and his nightmares. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'll make it up to you. I'll get the Dreamstone back. Yes, that's what I'll do. I'll go to Vilfeed and I'll find the stone and I'll sneak it out from under Zordrak's nose. Well, we, we haven't a moment to lose, so... If you think you have the strength and the courage, then I will tell you how to get to the land of nightmares. <laughs>